Convert your diverge sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity 1 over k times square root of k squared plus 1. As we can see, if we ignore this plus 1, then we know that this square root of k squared gives us a k, and this k multiplied with that k, we get k squared on the denominator, and we know sigma 1 over k squared converges. So we have something that we know that converges and want to do this one. So we can use a comparison test. Which one? Well, up to you. In this case, both of them works. But let me first show you guys with the limit comparison test. You can also do with the direct comparison test. Anyways, let me just use the limit comparison test. And here's the format. We first put down what we know. And as we discussed it earlier, we know that sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. And one more time, the reason I got the k squared is because I look at this k and then square root of k squared. Square root of k squared is k. Multiply this k, we get a k squared. This is what we know much better because this is a p series. p is equal to 2, which is bigger than 1, so we know this one here converges. And now, I'm going to do the limit comparison test. So here's the check. We are going to check as k goes to infinity. And it doesn't really matter how to set it up. You can put this over that, or this over that. Doesn't matter. But let me just do it consistently. Let me put this, which is 1 over k square root of k squared plus 1 over the things that we know, which is 1 over k squared. Well, what does this do? You take this, you flip it. This is the same as saying 1 over k square root of k squared plus 1 times k squared over 1 right here, right? And you see that this k and that k cancel one of them out. So we will end up with k on the top only over square root of. This is going to give us k squared plus 1. And now, as k goes to infinity, on the top, of course, we just have this k. On the bottom, we pick out the highest power. In another word, we don't care about the plus 1. We can just look at this portion, and you see that this is going to approach to k on the top over square root of k squared is one more time, just a k. k over k, of course, it's a 1. And now be careful. We are using the limit comparison test, and then this is the limit that we got. We have 1. Can we use 1 right here? Yes, we can. You have to indicate that 1 is bigger than 0. So we know the original also converges. And now let me just write down the conclusion right here. The original series, sigma, when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k times square root of k squared plus 1, also converges. Remember, when we get a limit that's bigger than 0, it has to be finite. It cannot be 0, it cannot be infinity. When you have this situation, we know we can draw a conclusion. And the conclusion is that the original is pretty much the same conclusion with this one. This converges, that also converges. That's what I say. This right here also converges by the limit comparison test. And if you want to do a study more detail, you can say which the things that we know, which is sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. That's it. Earlier, we see that how to use the limit comparison test to show this series converges. And to do the limit comparison test, we have to check the limit. In this video, I wanted to show you how to use the direct comparison test to show this series converges. We still have to put down the things that we know, which is this one. Sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. And one more time, the way that we got a 1 over k squared is because in the denominator of the original, we see that we have this k. But the inside here, we just care about square root of k squared. And this is going to give us another k. k times k give us k squared in the denominator. This is a p series. p is equal to 2, which is greater than 1, so it converges. And then, if you want to use the direct comparison test, we have to check inequality. And let's put on a word right here. And let's do this in a consistent way. Let's put down the things that we are trying to do on the left-hand side. So we have the sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, and then we have 1 over k times square root of k squared plus 1. And let's put down the things that we know on the right-hand side. 
sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity 1 over k squared. And you have to be careful on what we are using. We are using a convergent, right? So you have to remember, this is a convergent, means that it's a finite value at the end. If we can show that this is less than or equal to a convergent, then we can argue that this also has to converge. Because you are less than a finite value, you have to be a finite value. Anyways, I don't know if this is true or not, so I put down the question mark and let's get to work. We just have to check the expression. So I'm going to look at 1 over k times square root of k squared plus 1. Is this less than or equal to 1 over k squared? And we just care about this for k is bigger than or equal to 1 because k goes from 1 to infinity. And I want to make sure these expressions are always positive, and they are. You see, 1 over k, k is bigger than 1, so bigger than or equal to 1, so this is positive. Everything's positive anyways. Alright, to do this, what we can do is just cross multiply and then work out some algebra with this inequality. We have k squared on the left hand side, and then is this less than or equal to k times square root of k squared plus 1? And depends on how much algebra you want to do. Right here, I can square both sides to get rid of the square root. Right? By the way, this was a question mark. The left hand side, we will get k to the fourth power. Is this less than or equal to k squared? Square root and the square root cancel out. So it becomes just a parenthesis, and then we have k squared plus 1. On the left hand side, we have k to the fourth power. Is this less than or equal to? Once you distribute the k square, you get k to the fourth power plus k to the second power. And really depends on how much algebra you want to do. We have k to the fourth power on both sides, so we can of course cancel them out, right? Subtract k square, uh, subtract k to the fourth power on both sides. When we do that, you get zero. Is this less than or equal to k square? Well, you know k is bigger than or equal to one k squared, if you look at it backwards, k squared has to be bigger than or equal to 0. So of course, this is true. When we end up with a true inequality, we can draw conclusion. We can show that the original also converges by the direct comparison test. And now the rest is just a matter of writing it down. We know that the original, which is sigma, when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k times square root of k squared plus 1, this right here also converges by the direct comparison test with sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. So this is how you do it. Put down what you know, do the check, at the end write the conclusion. That's it.